football to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. Such scenes here, a sea of team colours, songs ringing down from the stands. The tone is set for the 90 minutes ahead. And already we're underway here. Albert Ferrer, João Cancelo makes the interception. So Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Mohamed Salah. And it's mainly because of his frightening pace. He's a huge threat when he's running at defenders, but he's also proved in recent times that he's a top-class finisher. Opposition defences are going to have to be wary about playing a high line because there's nothing this guy relishes more than space to run into. And once he gets there, he's gone. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Van Dijk. Oh, no. No circumventing this opponent. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Pedri. And it's Goretzka. And it's Salah. Into Milan, finding their passes. And that looks a decent ball. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, he got rid because he was under pressure. Ajax get it back again. And he's going to be disappointed with that. Well seen. Saw that coming. Pedri. Not the most accurate pass. Salah. He's a sharp little ball here. Great chance! We'll simply have to tip his hat to the keeper here because that was a magnificent save. Well, yet another interception and uh, a show of anticipation to be commended. And that's been intercepted. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Rimelik. Move forward and quickly so. And that is as far as they're going to go. That's just playing it safe and simple. Sends it forward. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. De Ligt gets good distance on it. Oh, good read. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Inter clearly didn't help themselves. Big chance! Well, players of his stature just live for moments like that. Another really important contribution as we near half-time, and it can make such an impact on each mindset. And he stuck it away as if laser-guided. He had the whole picture in his head, Peter. He didn't even look at the goalkeeper. Into Milan, draw first blood here. Well, I think the manager's... They simply do not know what has hit them. That really was a thing of beauty, curled in effortlessly. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose placement instead and delivered. And there is the half-time whistle. 
How's the first half compared with your expectation? Look, Peter, this isn't good. Their body language is not encouraging, and the manager must have a, a major verbal impact, or else. That today's match day programs are available from stands located by the gates. I'm sure they will make fine souvenirs. Substitution. That gets things going for the second half. Look, before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game, they can't afford to slip up and concede another. The next goal becomes crucial. Danger averted for now. Well, they've got it back in a hurry. I wouldn't fancy playing up front in these circumstances, to be honest. There's absolutely no supply. He is through here. Well, that had the makings of something quite promising, but it's fizzled out into nothing. And he's picked out the run. And Dyke promptly onto that, and that is that. And it's Chalhanolu, and that interception was most necessary looking for options for movement decent hit they are rampant and the lead is extended still further oh beautifully dispatched there was no reaching that well Peter I think the keeper knew straight away he was never going to get to it a case now of complete control. And that's been intercepted. The Petri. attendance for this match was 71,550. Well timed, excellent interception. Davis kept aware and it is reclaimed easily. Rummenigge. Chelhanolu. Albert Ferrer kept his eye on it and he's there. Aimed beyond the defence. Oh, good read. Out to the left it goes. Bellingham. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Chalhanolu. Van Dijk gets over and intercepts. Ball's gone out of play. Uh, it's a poor throw that picked off with relative ease. And he hits the net. Ajax give themselves a fighting chance. Back in with a shout. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Hakimi is there to clear. Shifted upfield. Well seen. Saw that coming. And Dyke spots it and intercepts. was certainly sturdy pass is coming off in quick succession here and that interception was most necessary gently done Son Hyung Min is in a really good shape to shoot oh taken with style his position was perfect the invitation was there for him and his response absolutely clinical yeah it's simply tragic defending when a, a renowned finisher is ignored it's how he built his reputation we have got ourselves a game here 
I think they've done so well to get back in it, but it's important now that they don't become over-eager in chasing another. They only need one more chance. Patience is key. Son Jung min Bellingham! He has done it! We thought it was over! It's all square once more! The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. All square again into the dying minutes. Credit where it's due. This is great attitude. Now the only question is whether there's enough in the tank to grab another. Maybe three minutes. That was super fine. He's had a shot. It's a decent chance to counter-attack. Rumeniga. It's Chalandolo! They've scored! And you can't but admire that from a player from whom we expect to come to the fore at crucial, crucial moments. Doing it, however, is another matter. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Ajax made a big part in it, but they walk away with nothing. Any